welcome back to another one of my videos. In this episode, we're going to be fitting this Ancelotti onto a Series 2 motor. Okay, this is a motor out of a Series 2. It's had the engine mounts changed for a Series 3 mounts, uh, obviously for vibration, because we've put on a 195 kit. But we're not fitting the Series 2 exhaust, we're going to be fitting an Ancelotti. So, when we're fitting an Ancelotti, you'll notice that Mr. Innocenti changed the fitting system underneath because the Series 2 exhaust, when it went, once it went up to 175cc, the vibration starts cracking the brackets and they're falling off. So, to fix that problem, they put an extra, extra mounting on the bottom of the engine casing. Now on the Series 2 it doesn't exist on these motors, it's just not there. So when you fit an Ancelotti on and you haven't got a bolting fixing on the bottom, it, the bracket's no, no longer triangulated and therefore the resonation of the exhaust forces the bracket to crack because the exhaust will resonate. So what we've done is we've drilled and tapped this lug here. On all the casings, you've got these two lugs that are there for machining purposes. So, we've drilled and tapped one out. So now, we've got a new position to fit the lug on the exhaust. Right, drop that back down. We'll go get an exhaust. Okay, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some egg, uh, sealant around the exhaust here. We've already put the downpipe on. Um, don't don't cut away the cowling when you to fit your downpipe to make it easier to get to the nuts because that's just all that's doing is allowing more air to escape from your uh, exhaust cowling and not cooling your barrel. So always pull the shroud forward, put the nuts on, slide it back and fit it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some sealant in here now. Now I'm going to wipe my hands. Give my hands a little wipe. Okay, you want sort of cleanish hands when you're putting these together, so you don't mess up your nice paintwork on your exhaust. So, here we go. What we've done is, we've removed this bracket from here, from this position, and remounted it in this position here to line up with that new lug. So this is an Ancelotti and we've removed the bracket, moved it along, in, line up with that position and I've triangulated the bracket so it makes it stronger. So we fit the exhaust on. Now your exhaust should fit easily without any stress on the bolts. So as you can see this one, because we've got a packing plate on the back on the barrel, this don't line up anymore. So we need to elongate the bolts holes a little bit in there to not have too much stress on it. Right, so we'll lift this up and have a look. Ah, and as we can see. It just doesn't quite line up. There's just an edge there that needs taking out. So I don't want to force brackets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there with the Dremel and just take that edge off so our bolt goes in without any problem whatsoever. So let's get the Dremel on it. Okay, this is our bolt that we're going to use. We're going to drop a little bit of Loctite on it. You only need a spot, and then we're going to lift this mount. Then we're going to mount it in the engine, in the bottom, because it all lines up now. There you go. Didn't even have to look straight in. 
Okay. Get our ratchet on. Now, we're going to put the torque wrench on and torque these up to 15 pound feet. So once we've got all three bolts in, now we've only got the tailpipe one on, that's easy to do because the tailpipe's flexible and it'll uh, go where we want it to. So, we'll set our torque wrench up at 15 pounds feet. Here we go. And just give them a nipple. There we go. I was, look at that, how close I was, just by hand. Perfect. Bottom one. It's called experience. That one wasn't so close, eh? A bit more. There we go. Just right. 15 pounds feet all on now it's all lined up and everything's bolted down correctly we can tighten up this uh, front bracket now this is an Ancelotti so it's not sprung load and it hasn't got a stub mount. So everything has to be bolted down tightly. Now, some people have a misconception that just because they've got a sprung load stub and a sprung load here, that they don't need to put that bolt in underneath. Well, they're wrong. Because if you've got a stub mount there and a sprung load there and your bracket mounted solid, you've got even more resonation of the exhaust, putting more stress on the bracket. So you need that bottom one in to stop that resonation. Otherwise, the exhaust will go like this, floating, putting stress here around the welds, and you'll get lots of cracks. And eventually the exhaust will break. Okay, I'm sorry about some of the footage, missing the tops off some of the camera work, and some, some pieces that I filmed was completely missing in the, in the film. So you've got bits missing. Really sorry about that. But what I filmed, I hope you enjoyed. So that was me fitting this exhaust on. Some of the bits are missing. Sorry, buddies. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>